New tonight, a law increasing the penalties for this. Passing a stopped school bus is one step closer to becoming a reality. Amy Steigerwald is here in studio to break down these new developments. Amy? That's right, Dan. This is a problem school districts continue to see time and time again. Now, to put this into perspective, how big the problem has become, so far this school year, the Bowling Green Dis School District has had 28 vehicles pass a stopped school bus. Right now, if you pass a stopped school bus and are caught, it's a $500 fine and a temporary license suspension each time a driver is caught. The School Bus Safety Act, or Senate Bill 134, would increase that first fine and every fine after that. The bill also comes with money attached to it, which would allow school districts to apply for financial grants to get school bus cameras installed on their buses. Now, these cameras catch passing cars and take a picture of their license plate so it can be traced, which many districts have found make a huge difference. Senator Teresa Gavaron, who proposed this bill, says she is hearing nothing but positive feedback about it. As a mom herself, she hopes people will see how important this is. All three of my kids rode the school bus to and from school, and you put them on the bus, and you just figured they'd get there safely and get home safely and, and didn't think twice about it. I wanted to introduce this legislation after start, I started hearing about stories in my district. It's been eye-opening how common this happens and how difficult it is to prosecute. Now, the bill is now on its way to the Senate for a full vote, and then it has to make its way through the House. It's been receiving support from both sides, and Senator Gavarone is hopeful it could be passed by the end of this school year. Amy, seems like a no-brainer, but uh, these cameras have been around a little bit, a couple, two, three years. Is it having an impact now? Yeah, so the Bowling Green School District was one of the first uh, districts in this area to get them, and they actually, they gave me some numbers, so they've had 28 vehicles pass a stop school bus this year, and they brought 17 of those drivers to court, which really makes a difference, and that picture is needed for evidence, but these cameras are expensive, so that's kind of the tie-in here with this bill. Important story. Thanks, Amy. Thanks.